so now we discuss some of the question important question which is very very important all the time so let's start we will discuss 10 question so next we discuss next 10 question okay so our first question the ladies so lecture tribe consider the following statements about lecture tribe they are aboriginal inhabitants of Uttarakhand no it is not correct it is they are mainly inhabited in Sikkim so one is wrong and the three the famous Khadar Saul is open by this community no it is mainly in Punjab and they have developed their own languages right it is it is called lepcha so two is the correct only so two is the answer this is the answer next question um, in in meghalaya into a 2000 year old system of trapping tapping stream and spring water by using bamboo pipes is prevalent prevalent among tribal farmers of Khasi Jantia hills who why is bamboo drip irrigation used instead of groundwater irrigation techniques in this region so because soil has soil has low water uh, retention capacity due to rocky terrain soil has low water retention capacity okay due to rocky terrain okay and which is the wrong water cannot be directed using pipes in the hills water cannot be directed using pipes in the hill it is not correct so and due to the presence of traditional terrain terrace cultivation terrace agriculture no it is wrong terrace not there is a large scale problem of water stagnation and water logging it is wrong so our answer is the only soil has it is mainly soil has the low water retention capacity due to rocky terrain so in the Jantia Khasi and Garu hills Meghalaya largely made up of steep slopes and generally rocky terrain where the soil has low water retention capacity and where the use of groundwater ch channels is impossible okay please remember okay so next question which of the following statements about ITCJ? ITCJ, so it is mainly incorrect. It is mainly in what is incorrect? Mainly incorrect is B is the incorrect. So by the middle of January, the low press low pressure ITCJ shifts northward. Low pressure uh, ITCJ shift northwards, roughly parallel to the Himalaya. So roughly it is parallel to the Himalaya. So by middle of the January, the low pressure of ITCJ ITCJ shifts northward please remember by the middle of the january the pressure shift northward it's wrong okay and roughly parallel to himalaya it is wrong okay so first is the correct so it is known as sellers at the doldrum and in parts of asia adds monsoon trap so it is incorrect it is dead so incorrect it is mainly please remember uh, b and only but A is the correct, it is known as sailors of the doldrum and parts of Asia and monsoon trap. And C is the correct, the ITCJ being the zone of low pressure attracts inflow of winds from the different directions which causes monsoon. It is generally believed that there is a cause and effect relationship between ITCJ and westerly jet stream. So please remember, so here is uh, B is the wrong, incorrect. So correct is ITCJ known as the dual drum, which is the area in, encircling the earth near the equator where the north, northeast and southeast trade winds come together. In Asian monsoon, in Asian monsoon terminology, ITCJ are also known as monsoon trap. It is basically that portion uh, of the ITCJ which is shown in a, by a line of minimum sea level pressure on a weather map and which extends into a into or through monsoon circulation so it is basically that portion of the mighty which is shown by line of minimum sea level pressure 
on a weather map and which the uh, which extends into or through monsoon circulation b is the wrong b is the wrong because by the middle of the july mainly july it is received northward roughly parallel to the himalaya in the january time not so it is mainly july time so in between the so it is mainly roughly parallel to the himalaya between 20 degree north to 25 degree north by this time westerly jets stream from the india region there is a ITC, uh, intertropical interrelationship between the northward shift of ITC and the withdrawals of the westerly jet stream from over the north Indian plain. It is it is generally believed that there is a cause and effect relationship between the two. So option D is the correct. So you see is the correct because the uh, ITC being a zone of low pressure attracts of uh, inflow of winds the maritime tropical pressure. Uh, made, made, made in tropical air mass from the southern hemisphere and after crossing the equator uh, rushes to the low pressure area in the general southwestern direction it is, it is the, this most year current which is the popularly known as south southwest monsoon so it is mainly low pressure that attracts the wind flow winds the made in tropical air mass from southern hemisphere and after crossing the equator Okay, so uh, it is mainly rushes to the low pressure area. It is generally southwesterly direction, southwesterly direction, and it is the most uh, most air content which is popularly known as southeast southeast monsoon. So axis of the monsoon trap. So here you can see an axis of the monsoon trap. So next question. So December and January, December and January time, January are the coldest month of the northern plain. December and January time, January are the coldest month. Uh, so please remember which among the following are the reasons for the for the same. So here the answer is mainly one, two, three. All are correct. So in the December time, in about January time, northern hemisphere states being far away from the moderating influence of sea experience continental climate northern states being far away from the moderating influence of sea experience continental climate the the snowfall in the nearby himalaya ranges creates cold wave situation the snowfall in the nearby himalaya ranges cold wave situation Snowfall of the nearby Himalaya ranges creates cold waves snowfall. Please remember. And around February, cold winds arrived from the Caspian Sea and Turkmenistan. Around February, the cold winds arrived from the Caspian Sea and Turkmenistan. So, all are correct. This is all are correct. All are the causes of the. Or regions for the coldest months in the northern time northern area during the December and January time northern states being far away from the moderating influence of the sea experiencing continental climates so snowfall uh, in the nearby northern now nearby Himalaya that just creates cold waves situation around February the cold waves arrived from the Caspian and Turkmenistan state like Punjab region Rajasthan being far away from the moderating influence of sea experiencing continental climate the snowfall is the nearby in the nearby himalaya creates cold wave situation around the february the cold winds coming from the caspian sea turkmenistan being cold wave along with the forced first and fog over the northern western northwestern plains parts of india which of the following which of the following types of agriculture is are noticeable Noticeable in tropical monsoon climate. So, following types of agriculture mainly uh, well, during the mon mon in tropical monsoon climate, they are wet paddy cultivation, low uh, lowland cash crops, and highland plantation crops. So, tropical monsoon climate we can see in agriculture. Um, these types of agriculture we can see. In. So, wet paddy and lowland cash crops and highland plantation crops. Highland plantation. Lowland cash crop and uh, wet paddy crops. Rice is the most characteristic crop of our monsoon land, and second 
is the correct wide range of cash crops cultivated in the lowland, lowland the, like uh, sugarcane, jute, etc. And three is the correct uh, colonial, uh, colony, colonization gave rise, gave rise to the cultivation of certain plantation crops. Tropical upland forests were cleared for tea and coffee plantation. So next question: Inland ports are located away from the sea coast and are like linked to the sea through a river of or a canal. Which of the following part port is an example of inland port? So inland port are located away from the sea coast and are linked to the sea uh, through a river or a canal. Which of the following ports? Uh, example of inland port. It is mainly Kolkata port, inland port. So they are mainly so inland ports are located away from the sea coast and are linked to the link to the sea through a river or a canal. Kolkata port located on the river uh, on the river of Hooghly as is an inland port. So next question. So the, with with reference to the model of demographic transition theory, arrange the following correct sequence of on there. Uh, in their incorrect sequence in their occurrence so mainly the model of demographic transition theory arrange please so high bra high birth so mainly first is our two is the correct first low birth rate and high death rate uh, sorry high birth rate and high death rate first second is our second stage is high birth rate low death rate and third is low birth rate low death rate so it is mainly B answer. So demographic transition theory tells us how it tells us that peoples of any region changes from birth, high births and high deaths or to low parts and low deaths and society progress from rural agrarian and illiterate to urban industrial illiterate region, illiterate society. The first stage has high birth rate and high death rate because of the people reproduce more to compensate for the death due to the epidemics and variable food supply fertility remains high and in the beginning second stage it declines with the time this is accompanied by reduced mortality rate improvements of the sanitation in sanitation and death health condition leads to declines in mortality and the last stage both fertility and mortality decline considerably okay So next question so mainly which of the following which following states are the major producer of pulses in india so mainly theory major producer of pulses is uh, mainly, uh, mainly uh, madhya pradesh madhya pradesh not uttarakhand so pulses mainly the major states is major producer of pulses in india is by madhya pradesh okay not Mizoram, not uh, Mizoram, uttarakhand not so kerala not So hardly any pulses are grown in Uttarakhand, Mizoram and Northeast states, Assam, except Assam, Kerala, HV and Jammu Kashmir. Hardly any pulses are grown. So in Uttarakhand, uh, Mizoram and other Northeastern states except Assam, Kerala and UP, okay, and Jharkhand, uh, Jammu Kashmir, okay, so MP is leading producer of the pulses along with Maharashtra, UP, Rajasthan, other important pulse growing states like Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. In all the other states, if pulses, states pulses production is comparatively lower. So, okay, so some some pulses are grown in Kharib and some Rabi season. Some pulses grow in Rabi, in Kharib and some Rabi season, being leguminous crops. All these crops except Arthur help in restoring soil fertility by fixing nitrogen from the air. Some pulses are grown in Kharib and some Rabi, some in Rabi season and being in leguminous crops, all these crops accept Arthur health in restoring soil fertility by fixing nitrogen from the air. So next question, in India, in movement uh, from, uh, from movement, in India movement from traditional crops to crops to crop diversification, especially cash crop can offer with uh, which of the following advantages. 
so uh, is mainly advantage is earning foreign exchange boost food processing industry and tackle problem of land degradation so all are correct one two three so uh, it is mainly so mainly indian uh, crop uh, pattern so in india movement of the traditional crop uh, diversification and especially cash crops can uh, offer which is the which of the following advantage it is mainly earning foreign exchange boost food processing industry tackle land problem of land degradation statement 3 is the correct crop diversification and also the growing of large number of crops practiced in rainfall rain fed lands and to reduce the risk factor of crop failure due to drought or less drain spirits and medical medicinal herbs flowers vegetables biodiesel crops like jatropha jatropha and jojoba need much less irrigation than rice or sugarcane so please remember and statement 2 is statement 1 is the correct there is a huge demand of for cash crops abroad statement 2 is the correct reversing of cash uh, crops like tobacco uh, tobacco cotton jute cashew etc are generating large forward and backward linkages in the food processing industry so next question in recent years in recent years there is a tendency for the sugar mills to shift from north state northern states and continue and concentrate so in the recent years there is a tendency to for the sugar mills shift to the northern states this is shift to the northern states and concentrate in the southern and western states so this is especially in maharashtra this is because because the sugar cane produce dairy has higher uh, sucrose content sugar cane produce dairy ha has had sucrose content cooler climate ensures a long uh, crossing season cooler climate ensures a long crossing season so both are correct so best product best uh, productivity for the for best productivity um, sugar cane needs tropical conditions such as long uh, hours of sunshine cool night with clear sky this is the reason um, that highest productivity in terms of uh, sugar content in terms of sugar content also found in maharashtra sugar cane and uh, in southern india has no hot hot winds do not blow in summer and there is no frost in winter moreover they they are closer they are closer to sea uh, which exerts so in southern hot winds do not blow in summer and there is no no frost in winter moreover they are closer to the sea which exerts uh, in moderate its moderating influence this makes an for an ideal location for growing sugarcane moreover covered movements are a, a most a more successful in these regions which are this is one of the most remote regions for the shift next consider the following statements which are the which is the correct so please remember it's important question kashmir valley lies between great himalaya and ladakh range kashmir himalaya kashmir valley lies between great himalaya and ladakh range kashmir valley it's correct no it is wrong and jhelum river flows through kashmir valley it is correct and so the tso tso to so moridi and pongong toso are salt water lakes found in ladakh and pongong toso are salt water lakes found in ladakh two and three are correct so please remember that one is wrong, wrong so one is wrong why kashmir valley lies between pir panjal range and and great himalayan range please remember kashmir valley lies where it is mainly lies in the pre between lies between pir panjal range and great himalayan range ladakh range as is further to the north of great himalaya range so kashmir valley it is mainly please listen it is mainly located in the pir panjal range and great himalayan range not in ladakh so here is it is pir panjal and here is uh, and great himalaya 
so it is mainly uh, here great himalaya range here you can see here is pirpanjal range and here is great himalaya there you can see in kashmir valley but ladakh is upper side it is not correct so here is some of the map is like hindu kush here hindu kush here karakoram here ladakh is and then jaskar then pirpanjal here is pirpanjal there is some of the important river you can see jhelum चेना बियास रावी रावी एक्सेट्रा रिवर यू कैन सीन फर्स्ट इज झीलम रिवर देन चेना देन रावी सतलुज सतलुज लोएस्ट साइड एंड बियास यारी यू कैन सीन फर्स्ट इज झीलम रिवर देन चेना रावी जे सी आर एंड सतलुज देन बियास ओके ऑल मीट एंड हियर इन दिस रिवर फॉर्म So please remember this question is important. Jhelum one of the main tributary of the Indus. Okay, uh, main tributaries of Indus flows from through Kashmir Valley. Statement three: The correct Tosu Mariri and uh, Spongong, Pongo Pangong Tosu, or salt salt water lake found in the Ladakh of region of Jammu Kashmir. So which of the following ports are natural harbors? Has are natural harbors? It is mainly. One two three are natural harbor. Mumbai ports, Bangalore, Marma Gaon ports, and Kochi ports are have uh, natural harbor. One two three are correct. Only at the natural harbor, it is only Mumbai port, Marma Gaon, and Kochi port. So Chennai port is one of the oldest port on the eastern coast. Eastern coast, Chennai coast is the Chennai port is the oldest port. Okay, Eastern Coast. It is the artificial harbor built 1859. Important. 1859. It is much suitable for the large ships because of the shallow water near the coast. Mumbai is, in, is a natural harbor and the biggest port of the country. And Marmagao port is situated, situated at the entrance of the Jauri Strait. It is a natural harbor of Goa. Kochi port is situated at the head of Bhemanath Kail. Popularly known as Queen of the Arabian Sea, also natural harbor. So our answer here you can see D is the correct. So one to three. So which of the following uh, ports are the natural have the natural harbor? So in a uh, Mumbai port, Mamagao and Kochi port, not Chennai port is uh, not are uh, not is not a natural harbor has not any natural harbor. So Queen of the Arabian Sea is called. It is Kochi Port. At Marmara Gaon Port, it is Jauri Estuary near Goa. Mumbai Port, largest, biggest port in the, the country. Consider the following statements about uh, commercial livestock rearing. Most commercial livestock rearing mainly. So here, commercial livestock uh, livestock rearing. So it is highly organized and capital intensive. It is highly organized and capital intensive. It is when livestock, commercial uh, livestock rearing. It is highly organized and and capital capital intensive. And the rearing of animals is done on scientific basis. So please remember. So one two correct and three. It is essentially associated with the least developed country. This is wrong. It is wrong. So not least. So mainly most developed country. There you can see. So commercial livestock. Rearing is a rearing of animals in in large in large range range ranches organized on scientific basis. It is highly capital intensive as it uses latest sophisticated technology for processing of meat, hide it, uh, wool. And statement three is the correct wrong. Commercial livestock rearing ranching is essentially associated with the Western culture and is practiced by on permanent. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Ranches, New Zealand, Australia, Argentina, Uruguay, USA, are important countries practicing practicing this. So twenty-four. So Khetri, uh, Alwar, and Bhilwara are are region associated with which of the following minerals? They are mainly copper. Khetri, Alwar, and Bhilwara. Really. So all are regional copper mining. Khetri, Alwar, and Bailora mainly copper mining. 
सो थैंक यू